Hello, welcome to my channel. Um, welcome to today's video. I am ridiculously excited for this. Um, this is my second unboxing uh, for today. It's not really an unboxing, well it is, but it isn't. It's an order I've placed myself. Um, and yeah, I have been waiting and waiting and waiting for this to come. I am so excited, I cannot tell you. Um, here it is. This is the box. This is the box. And if I turn it round, it has come from all the way from LA. This is an American brand. This is my very first Colourpop order. I am so so excited. Their products oh, just seem amazing. Absolutely amazing. Um, they're a really really good price as well. They have their own uh, lab on site um, at wherever they're based in Los Angeles um, and so they can manufacture these products at ridiculous and I mean seriously silly prices. Um, the great thing about uh, Colourpop is that generally speaking when you order from America normally um, when it arrives in the UK you have to pay our 20% VAT which is generally classified as a customs charge so before you actually receive your package you will receive a card from Royal Mail saying basically you owe us money so you then need to go to your ma nearest main Royal Mail depot pay not only the 20% uh, VAT or customs charge but also £8 on top of that to Royal Mail as a handling fee. Then your package will be released from customs and then you'll receive it maybe a few days later. So a lot of the companies in America, what they're starting to do is they're starting to, when you get to checkout, they're actually starting to add our VAT on when they know it's a customer in the UK. So basically, it's not like you get out of paying it at all, um, it's just that you're paying it at checkout rather than when the package arrives. So it's just a lot easier, you know where you are, you know what you've spent, it's great. Um, so I ordered this. Um, it's took it's took literally twelve days to get here from Aldrin. Yeah, twelve days. <clears throat> Excuse me, I've got a bit of a frog in my throat. Um, so it's took twelve days to get here from Aldrin. Uh, Ten days from shipping. I was starting to get a little nervy. Not gonna lie, thinking. Mm, where is it? Uh, thinking I'm going to have to email them and say, look, I know it's not tracked shipping, but is there any way you can figure out where it is? But no, panic over, knock on the door this morning. Excellent. <laughs> so here we go, here we go. So there we go, just to prove that it is from Colourpop. There we go. I will link their website down below if you want to go and have a look at any of their products. Please do, because really, really good. Cool, blimey. Okay, so I've just lifted it out. Literally lifted it out of the box. And I'd say that's well packaged, wouldn't you? For coming all the way across the front. Plenty of bubble wrap on there. <laughs> here we go, here we go, here we go. So I shall save that. Bubble wrap. Always comes in handy. So... This is my order. Um, oh, oh, sorry, little card on the top that just says, "You're looking, you're looking fabulous." Ah, I like that. Sorry, little things. Okay, so two of the things I ordered um, were a couple of their makeup brushes. I've heard good things about these makeup brushes, so I wanted to give them a try. Uh, let me get my list out because I can't remember what they're called. Just a minute. Um, so we have the. Mm, now then. One is the small shader brush and one is the small detail brush. I think this is the small detail brush, it looks like it to me. 
that is a really nice small flat brush i've got really small eyes hooded eyes as well so getting brushes to actually fit oh yeah look at that that's gonna work brilliantly so this is the e3 i don't know if you can see that on there and it's got colour plop on the handle and it's a really good sized long handle so wow actually for my small hands that might be a bit too long um but it's better than being too short because they're more annoying personally really lovely soft brush yeah i'm really pleased with that can't wait to try that out and the other one is the small shade brush oh can you see that's actually on a bit of an angle didn't expect that okay okay again really nice and soft and fluffy um hmm. i was wondering if i'd be able to use that as a highlighter but i think it's a bit small for that but for getting in and blending yeah that feels they feel really good and sturdy actually really pleased about that now one of these i can't remember which one was eight dollars one was seven dollars so fifteen dollars for the two brushes that works out at what about 11 pounds 11 pounds for two brushes not bad at all not bad at all so then the next thing i ordered was uh, an eyeshadow palette now the majority of their eyeshadow palettes are on sale on their site wait for it for 12 dollars 12 dollars that is it 12 dollars that's about eight pound fifty nine pound okay so i decided to choose the it's my pleasure palette there we go that's what it looks like and it's all sort of purpley colors from what i remember so let's open the box up oh wow i look at the size of that i've got really small kitty size hands okay so it's about the size of my hand that's a really good size handy palette to have really good i like that here we go oh wow yeah Ooh. oh so, aha it's all right i've just had a bit of a because if you look at the mirror the mirror looks all cloudy but there's a sticker to pull off haha and these are the colors oh sorry i'll turn it upside down so i'm not blinding you there we go. So all different sort of pinks, purples. Doesn't that look yummy? So we've got four mattes in there and five shimmers. And the names of them are underneath, but they're also on the back, which is handy. I do like this thing about having the shade names underneath um, the, the pans in the palette. At least then you know what you're looking at. So, I'm going to swatch these for you. Um, so, we're going to go, first of all, on this top row, we're going to go Kittenfish, Do or Do, <laughs> and Pretty Cruel. So, let's have a feel. Mmm, feel quite nice, quite soft. Ooh, that shimmery one's quite powdery. That was Do or Do. Oh, so is that one. That's Pretty Cruel. Oh, pretty cruel, that's the name. Right, here we go. Are we ready? So, kitten fish. Do or do. Oh, wow. And pretty cruel. Wow. Oh, I like those. So, the kitten fish is quite, um, it's a warm tone lavender colour, I would say. So, you've got the pink undertones with that. Then you've got uh, Do or Do, which is quite a pinky base, warm pinky base with some purple uh, glittery reflex in there. Really nice. And then under here, the Pretty Cruel. Um, I'm not sure it's um, sort of an orangey brown with gold in. I like that. I really like that. So I'll just wipe my fingers off and we'll go to the next row. 
And the next row, I have to admit, is probably why I bought this palette, or chose this palette, I should say. So the next ones are, you've got Bare Minimum, Earthshine, and Chick Lit. Just look, look at those, aren't they ace? Wow, amazing. So let's give those a swatch. That's, ooh, Bare Minimum. Earth shine, ooh, pretty, and chick lit. <gasps> oh my goodness! Look at those. Wow. Wow. Okay. <gasps> God, look at that. Oh my goodness, these are so smooth. Oh, that's quite sheer. That was the earth shine. So you'd got bare minimum there earth shine oh that's so pretty and then chick chick lit oh my word look at those wow okay and i've already run out of room on that arm oh crikey o'reilly okay i'm liking these swatches crikey all right let's go on to the next one so, then on this bottom row, we've got Mr. Sandman, Fan Fiction, and Sleeper. Okay, so I'm going to do those on the other arm, just because I've run out of room. These shimmers are so soft and buttery. They really are lovely. And the mats are not, the mats are not overly dry, it has to be said. Oh, having said that, she says that, and then Sleeper is a little bit drier than the rest, but let's give it a go. So, Mr. Sandman. Fan Fiction. And Sleeper. Wow. Okay. Wow. Not the best swatches in the world, I'm sorry, I'm just so excited. Look at those. Wow. Yeah, I'm impressed. For what, £9? Well, it didn't actually even cost me that because um, when you sign up to Colourpop, you get a 15% off code. So I got 15% off of all of this, which basically just about covered uh, all the VAT that I had to pay. So yeah wow that i cannot wait to play with this the looks that i feel i could get from this palette oh yeah 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 yeah. yes very very impressed with that wonderful can't wait cannot wait and then <clears throat> excuse me probably the biggest reason why I wanted to do a colour pop order is um, I have to blame a lovely, lovely YouTuber called Annette at Annette's Makeup Corner for this. She uses um, the colour pop um, cream gel waterproof eyeliners in her waterline all the time. If you if you don't know about Annette's Makeup Corner, I'll um, try and pop her youtube site down below please go and watch it she is absolutely amazing really really lovely very very colorful vivid looks um really out there and she's just so much fun she's very very honest in her reviews which i like um yeah she's she's really lovely and she uses these all the time and they just look fabulous um so me being me went and had a look, see if I could find Colourpop available in the UK and they were going to cost me approximately £7 each liner. <coughs> yeah, <coughs> <Made me. coughs> that's exactly what I did. So I thought, but there's so many colours that how can I choose? How, how can I only get like one or two? Never fear, on the Colourpop website there is a pack of 20, 20 different colours. Can it focus in? There we go. 
20 different coloured eyeliners. Can you see the variety of those colours? We've got right from your normal black through to your browns, your nudes, grey, a white one which I've been looking for forever, uh, the plummy, lilac -y ones, blues, greens, yellows, oranges, pinks. Yeah? I mean, seriously, how many more eyeliners am I going to need? None. So, I have invested. This was $100. Um, obviously, with the 15% off, it brought it down to $85, um, which re works out roughly about £70. But, yes, it's a lot of money, but just work it out. £70-ish for 20 eyeliners. That works out at £3.50 an eyeliner. Yeah, exactly. Well worth it. Well worth it. So, I'm going to try and get in this box. I've lost my scissors. There we go. Sorry. There we go. So, so, so excited to try these. I cannot tell you. So, I'm literally going to start. So, they're quite a thin little pencil. Okay. But, look at the nib on that. Wow, that's brilliant. And they're retractable, so they come up and down. So, this is the pink. Now, I'm not a pink girl. I honestly, I never do anything pink. I hate the colour pink. But I might even give that a go. Then we've got, oh God, they are so smooth. They just glide on. There's the orange. Now, this is, the next one's quite a bit of a mixture between an orangey and yellow. Oops. Oh, wow. Now we've got a really bright yellow. Oh, wow! Oh, man! Look at that! Wow! That's amazing! Okay, a nice bright green. Oh, this is amazing. Oh! Oh, that's right. Oh, they have got names on. I did wonder. Oops. Sorry. So this looks like kind of a tealy shade. This is called Zulu. Oh yeah, that's a nice tealy turquoisey shade. Then we've got a darker green. This is like a bottle green. This one. Oh wow. Oh that's ace. Then we've got another green. So that's four greens in here. Wow. Ooh, look at that. Oh, that reminds me of the Jeffree Star Crocodile Tears um, Velour Liquid Lipstick, that. So, if you own that, this, and this one is called Teaspoon, that would go really nicely with that. So, if you're wearing that on your lips, um, pop that in your waterline, perfect. Now, this is Prance. Oh, this was one I wanted to try. Oh. Now, again, I've got these because I actually own the Jeffree Star Blue Blood Eye Palette. My absolute favourite. I adore that palette. Uh, I am going to be doing some videos um, with me using that palette. So, don't forget, subscribe, hit that notification button so you don't miss out. You're going to want to see them because it's amazing. Um, this one is DTLA, this is like a navy blue isn't it from what I remember, oh, ooh. Ooh, I wouldn't call that a navy blue, it's like um, a denim blue, oh that's lovely, like a smoky denim blue, ah now then here we go, this is the lavender one, this is Crybaby, oh that's pretty. That's very, very light. That is a true lavender colour, that. Really nice. This is piggyback. Piggyback or piggybank? Piggybank. Sorry. Oh, wow. Look at that. Amazing. 
Now, this is the white one. This is called Exit, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, Exit. Now, again, I've been looking for a white eyeliner that will actually stay in my waterline because I have very, very runny eyes. So I love using white eyeliner, but it just it comes off straight away. Um, but white eyeliner is fantastic for opening your eyes out, particularly if you if you've done yourself a really dark, smoky eye look. Use a white liner on your waterline. Bob's your uncle. Sorted. And there's even a silver. Ooh, let's have a look at this. <gasps> yeah, that's a proper silver. Proper, proper silver. And this is like a flesh tone or a nude one. Ooh, that's really nice. That's nice. Tell you what, that'd be nice to use if you struggle doing winged eyeliner and you want a bit of just something down um, just very lightly on your eye and then you can use that as like a template and then go over with your black eyeliner. That'd be a good one to use for that. So here's the gold. Now if that silver's anything to go by. Yep, there we go. We've got a proper gold. Amazing. Uh, is this the bronzy one? Yeah, get paid. This was the bronzy one. This was another one that I was looking at. Oh, wow. Wow, ace is that. And this is the light brown. Oh, oh, I didn't realise. That's like a chocolate brown metallic, that one. I didn't realise that was metallic. That's overboard. Ooh. Yummy. And this is the brown, brown one, chocolate brown one. Oh, that's really nice. Sorry, my swatches are going like, they're just not in a straight line at all. And then the black, good old black. Can't go wrong with a black, can you? But my goodness, is that black. Wow. So there we go. That is all 20. Oh, sorry, I'm just shielding my eyes from the light. That is all 20 of those gel eyeliners that are all waterproof and I cannot wait, cannot wait. Even these really bright ones down here, the pink and the orange, the, you know, even the yellow. Look at how, how fluorescent that yellow is. These in particular, these ones down here, these would be amazing in the summer if you go into festivals. Just think of what you could do. Think of the looks you could create with these liners. Like I say, $100, even at full price, even at $100, that works out around about the £85 mark, £83, something like that. Um, with any order on the Colourpop website of over... $50, you get free international shipping. It's not tracked shipping, so you can't follow it all the way. But to be perfectly honest, um, this isn't the first time I've ordered from America. I do have some House Laboratories um, makeup, which is uh, Lady Gaga's makeup range. Um, and that wasn't tracked either. It's tracked as far as once it gets to the Atlantic Ocean um, and then you lose it. Um, so the tracking numbers that they give you um, when everything's shipped, they don't work over here. So even with that one, I didn't know where it was. Um, yeah, I'm a very happy girl. Um, so the whole order, my whole order, with the 15% off that I received, um, it came to literally, I think it was £99.21. I am absolutely over the moon. I am so, so chuffed. You won't believe how long I've had to wait um, to open this box because I wanted to do it on camera for you all. Um, please go and check out Annette at Annette's Makeup Corner. Please go and check out the Colourpop website. Um, they have they've got tons of stuff um i'm definitely going to be buying more palettes um because there was about three or four that i actually really fancied in fact i just brought out a smoke one called smoke show which is all blacks grays whites really into that um yeah 
I hope you've enjoyed this video. I've enjoyed showing it to you. Uh, I'm going to enjoy playing with all this lot even more. When I do um, finally sit down and have a, have a play with it, I will film, obviously, so you can see it and see how I get on and what I think to the products, what I think to the makeup brushes, are they any good? Um, yeah. Give me a thumbs up. If you've not already subscribed, please, please do. Um, hit the notification bell so you're not going to miss any future videos. Have a good evening, everybody, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.